Good morning and welcome to the big house in Jackson, Mississippi. Hello everybody, I'm Jack Ivey along with Colton Harrison and you see we're joined this morning with the head coach for the Tish County Braves and coach, uh, not a better day in history than being right here in the big house playing for a state championship and you get a chance to do that today, coach. Right, right. A lot of people probably envious of this and um, our girls, you know, we, this is what, what our goal was coming in and uh, to the season, you know, we've come up short down here for Jack and um, trying to get trying to get some redemption for that and just trying to get that first gold ball in school history. Coach, uh, down in 1990 and uh, you were fortunate enough to be down here, I guess, in what, uh, 20 and 22, is that right? Yes, sir. And uh, here back again. When you came to Tish County, uh, you mentioned, I guess, when you was meeting the players uh, about the opportunity to do this, I know you believed it or you wouldn't have said it. Uh, how did you get the players to buy into your program? It's just been a lot of work, and it's it's a tribute to them on that because, I mean, they bought in and they believed in what we were doing, and it's a process. You know, you don't go from rock bottom to the top overnight, and it's taken us a little bit, but we've been, you know, in this mix for five years probably now, and just trying to put our stamp on Mississippi girls basketball today. Coach, uh, you, you was coaching in the private school ranks, very successful there. And uh, what made you decide to come up to Tish County and uh, move out of the private ranks? Man, it was just, um, you know, Coach Daly had called me and said, you know, Middleton, think about this job. Great place to raise your family. Great place to you know, let your kids grow up and go to school. And it was an opportunity we, when we looked at. It was kind of just a blessing. God kind of opened the door and said, hey, if God opens the door, let's, let's walk through it. And uh, we trusted him and look where we're at. You actually uh, got the girls to believe uh, to buy into this, but you bought into moving to Tishomingo County. And uh, like I say, it's been a blessing. I know you're involved in the church over at Iuka Baptist and uh, involved with the youth over there. And uh, what's uh, Iuka and Tishomingo County mean to you as a family now since y'all are official full-time residents? It's home. It's home. They've, um, they've made us home, you know, feel at home here. And um, our crowd's going to show up and show out today. And just proud of the way they've embraced our family and these girls. They were lined up big time outside trying to get in and they finally let them come in a few minutes ago. The seats are filling up. Uh, I think they need to go to that concession stand and uh, get a little food, something to drink and not move out of that seat because the action's uh, going to be intense today. This ball club from Morton, uh, I don't know where you can say they're a surprise because they lost equipment. Uh, of course, equipment being the Panthers as well and they're the Panthers, but uh, that goes to show you that it uh, doesn't matter what happens in a regular season, division tournaments or whatever, uh, they're here and Quitman's not. Yeah, it's who shows up on the biggest stage. Morton's got a lot of size. Worried about them rebounding on us today. Um, we're going to have to do a great job on the boards. But, um, you know, I told the kids, no matter who it is, nothing's going to be easy. You're at the big house. You're in the state championships. You might as well be 0-0. Right. I mean, we're both fighting for one one goal today, and hopefully the Lady Braves bring enough to get it get out of here with that goal ball. Coach, one thing about uh, playing in the big house, uh, Belmont and Boonville last night, only one made three-pointer the whole night. And uh, if you hadn't got a game plan other than a three, you could be in trouble here, right? Yeah, you, you better you better get ready. And, that you know, with their zone, we've kind of worked on it. We think we got some – areas we can attack it in the paint and um, that's what we're going to look to do now. It wouldn't hurt my feelings if Meg Moore gets rolling a little bit out there too. You know, she's very capable. She's feeling good. Um, Reese feeling good. You know, we got Abby who's capable of busting a couple at any point. We can bring Balin off the bench if, if we get in a situation where we can. So um, we got some people that can fill it up outside and we're not going to give up on it, but we're, we are going to try to earn our, earn our bread and butter in, in the paint. Like you say, they got us outsized. I know they got a six foot three girl. I don't know who all is going to start for them today, but a couple of 5'11s or whatever. And uh, our biggest uh, young lady is, of course, and I think she's had an outstanding season, Margaret Claire Riley. Yes, and, and, and she's got to stay on the floor today. We've talked to her about that at nauseum. You know, we, we need her out there. She just brings so much heart and energy and physicalness to us inside and with her size. So, Margaret, stay in that game today. And, uh, you know, she's going to do. She's going to be a warrior for us inside. I was looking at the stat sheet right here, and I think y'all have got Zarelli Ozuna's height wrong. She is six foot five. Yeah, that's definitely wrong. That's definitely wrong. It's more like five two. You know, but, but she plays six five. Uh, Fourteen four, rebounds. Yeah. That, that was amazing performance by her the other night, and um, it's just a bonus to get that. And we're, you know, you've watched her her whole career. We're gonna get everything she's got out there. Coach, uh, I know the girls are excited about this game. Uh, 
What about your wife? Is she excited? Uh, she kind of gets into this as well, don't she? she we're invested as a as a family. Our whole our family's invested here. She's probably nervous. You know, she gets. Uh, she's asked me a hundred times, "What's the game plan? What's the game plan?" And I'm like, "It's it's game plans to win." But uh, we, I just you know, and we talked a little bit about you know what we're, what we're actually going to do. But you know, she's excited and she's nervous. I got to ask you a question about uh, your new assistant, Sarah Behrman. Of course, Sarah has played on this big stage and uh, won a state championship, and uh, uh, she's all in today. She's so excited not only to see our former team uh, win yesterday, but well, I'll tell you what, she's excited about these young girls. She loves these girls. She told me that just a few minutes ago. Yeah, she loves them, and she she's as excited as any young coach I've ever seen. And she brings a lot uh, to the table for us as far as, you know, that just that winning culture that we've tried to continue to build here. And she knows what it takes to win, and she's able to, you know, talk to them a little bit on their level. So it's been good to have Sarah, and we appreciate all the work she's done uh, here at Tish County. Hopefully we can keep her around a little bit. Is she going to dress out today, uh, maybe privately? I wish she was. I wish. I, she says she's putting her heels on and going to be taller than me. I wish she'd put some. Uh, I wish she put some uh, Nikes on and get out there and uh, run the point a little bit. Well, she had the uh, some shoes she probably could have played in earlier before she switches over to these heels. But, uh, coach, uh, your game plan today is what? Yeah. Well, win first, but uh, we got to control the boards. Um, we got to attack their zone, and I, I told them. Nobody comes to the big house and wins without toughness. You better be tough today. Coach, uh, you got some seniors playing the last game today, and what a way to go out what for playing. Yeah. Oh, yeah. What a better way to end your career than on this floor. And a lot of people, win or lose, envy where you're at today. And um, I want my three to go out winners. You realize this, uh, just about everybody on your schedule this year, uh, let's say that I don't want to talk negative, but let's say the games you lost. You lost to Belmont. You lost to Ingemar. Two state champions. And uh, Jackson Callaway, uh, not, uh, yeah, it was Callaway. I, I don't, Callaway, uh, they're, uh, I, they, pretty, they almost made it here as well. So they, they were really. Yeah, we played a tough schedule, Jack. And Tupelo, who we beat, is playing tonight. I mean, so we played a lot of good people. And I think it's prepared us for this moment. And hopefully we'll go out and perform like we like we plan to. I think that's how you win uh, championships. Uh, play. If you lose some of them along the way, can I tell you a Coach Dunny Roberts story? Coach Dunny Roberts, uh, we were over somewhere and they got beat early in the playoffs. He's a Hall of Fame coach in Alabama and retired with over 800 wins. So, you know, he's pretty successful there. Won some state championships. And we were somewhere and they got beat early in the playoffs. He said, Jack Ivey, this won't happen to me again. And I said, what are you talking about, Coach? And I won't say the, but he said our schedule was terrible. He said that he schedules the next year. He's got, of course, he had Belmont, Etiwamba, New Site, Pontecock, Briarcrest in Memphis, Tupelo, Lafayette County. He went 0 and 8. Yeah. 0 and 8. And guess what they did? They won a state championship. Yeah, and that's what it's about. We we know we had the talent to be here, so we tried to prepare them to be here. Coach, awesome. Uh, we. We've hit uh, every game but one this year, so uh, we didn't go to Sheffield. We had already beat them about 50, so I said, you know what, I'm going to make take a night off. We we appreciate it and appreciate all the sponsors that take care of you and get, get you down here. And uh, y'all 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 make Jack Ivey's home in Jackson at oh, the big house yeah. for the week. That's I, awesome. Hey, I, I used to come down here and stay the whole week. My wife, my wife says, you sure do have a lot of customers down there. I said, oh, i got a lot of customers. I've, I've been busy, honey. Hey, but this I, is what it's about. It's what it's about. Go, go with the team. Give them a good pep talk Thank and tell them that. Tell them the Ivy man says good luck. Thank you, and uh, 